This is Keith, one time Thurman, the two belt holding welterweight champion. And today we're gonna replicate his haircut on my man Jordan. So as you can see, he gets, has a tie ball taper with the chin strap. And you'll see my man right here. Boy, is he looking rough. But all thanks to me, we're gonna change him from that to this. So, so we're gonna kick this thing off. Combing the hair down, getting it ready. Now I'm gonna bald out the area. I'm gonna take out that C cup area. Start at the bottom of the box. And now I got my one and a half on, clearing out the bulk. So I can start getting ready to fade. You see I got the comb there to protect the top of the hairs. You see there, taking down that chin strap with the one and a half. Now I'm going open, middle, and I'm going close to fade in his chin strap right there. Now I got my shaver on balding out the area. And now I'm going one in, up one inch with my adjustables open. And as you can see, I'm gonna work my way down, going open, middle, close to knock out that line. Sorry I didn't get the footage. I need to get better angles on some side of these fades. I apologize, but I'm gonna work on that for you guys. So as you can see, I'm I'm putting that blend in, you see that line slowly dissipating. The blend is coming together. I'm just knocking out that that line slowly but surely. I'm just working on it. Now I got my trimmers on, knocking out that little bottom line. And I'm gonna come back with the shaver and then get that area of extra ball. So now I've got that one and a half on again and I'm just making sure it's all clean. And then now I got my 1A blade on and I'm just tying that blend together so you can see more contrast and i swear this dude looks just like keith thurman i always said that he looks like keith thurman so i'm calling this the keith thurman fade so now i'm gonna start working on lining up his little chin strap because if you if you guys know keith thurman he he, he wears a highball taper with a chin strap when he goes into his fights and he gets his hair braided. And by the way, this is one of my barber brothers. We went to barber college together. So I need, and he said, give him a shout out. So I'm giving him a shout out. Here's your shout out. Go check him out on Instagram. And if you go check him out on Instagram, tell him to cut these braids off i'm telling you tell him to just get rid of the braids these struggle braids his hairline is, is not doing him any favors just tell him to get rid of the braid and tell him your man i do it sent you this is a chooky beat production so as you saw i put in a light line on this on his uh box area there and now i'm gonna go under his chin and start to create his chin strap so this is my version of the keith thurman fade Keith Thurman, he usually has a chin strap, a little thin chin strap. He usually keeps his up, his uh, chin strap up a little bit higher towards the ears, but I faded it in a little bit more. Just giving my little iteration of it. You know, this is my little twist on the Keith Thurman cut. And as you can see, that blend's coming together. not using any enhancements on this cut although I could you can see I mean he has a real tricky hairline a real tricky hairline so you got to be real delicate because his hairline is crooked back is, you know looking like Stephen A. Smith almost I always tell him you better be careful with his hairline so same thing you know I do to one side I'm gonna do to the other so I balled it out now I got my Supremes open. I went up, I went down about an inch and I'm just going half middle close, working my way all the way up to that, to that line. And you saw it just faded in just like that. So now I got my one and a half, like I did on the other side, clearing the bulk. And then now I got the one and a half through there and then I flipped it over and I went with the grain because I want to keep that contrast and darkness through there on the chin strap. So now I got the Supremes all the way open half middle and now close you can 
see working on that bottom line and then you see that little patch of darkness right there and now i'm going to come back with my 1a and then you're going to see the, the contrast come through after i use that 1a and with tapers guys like you'll you'll know the more tapers you do you'll notice that usually one side is easier to taper than the other and that was the case here on this situation because uh, the right side taper was real easy to do it's just this left side was a little bit more tricky but with experience and you knowing that it'll make the job easier so i'm just balding them out with the shaver creating that distinction and contrast in the fade and it helps it the blend and everything lasts a little bit longer so now i got my adjustables <clears throat> and i'm just tightening up parts of the blend so now i'm gonna start lining up this chin strap usually when i go in <clears throat> and when i'm doing beards <clears throat> i'll create my initial line it won't be i won't try and make it too harsh but I'll just try and set in a nice little guide for me this to work from, especially seeing how I, his canvas was really blank. It wasn't like he got it cut a week ago and I can still see the chin strap. So this one, I, I literally had to create. And this is another reason why it's perfect and better to do someone's haircut after they get it braided is because I'm putting this line on them, but I don't know how when he gets his hair braided or how the person's going to braid it. I don't know if they're going to braid it the same way his hair is braided now or maybe he's just going to do cornrows to the back. Not quite production. sure, but sometimes that hair, it may be hair that's hanging over once he gets braided that need to be lined up or taken down. So. You, that's why it's always better to do it after someone gets braided but he's a barber so I'm sure he can tighten that up if he needs to but right now I'm just really taking my time with this line just trying to create it I don't want to push him back too much because you see his hairline is slowly disappearing like like Marty McFly in that Back to the Future movie And he had his brother in the picture and you saw Marty and his brother fading away in the picture. That's how his hairline is. He, he gonna kill me when he see this video. He's like, man, why are you talking about my hairline? <laughs> but it's all in fun. So right here, I'm just tightening up part of the blend. I'm sorry, I, like I said, you guys can't see from this angle, but if you go back and rewind to where I started before you can't see till after I take the clipper away, you'll see a big difference in why I actually tightened up this portion of the blend you'll see the difference if you go back and rewind this little portion you'll see the difference in the blend i just wanted to create a different contrast i, I just saw something that i didn't like but like i said if you rewind it you'll see exactly what i'm talking about once i take the clip away so you see that contrast it looks way better to me than this what it did before i mean you guys can let me know in the comments if i'm crazy or not and then now we're gonna move on to do his back taper and this is real pretty simple back taper. I'm taking all this down against the grain with a one and a half blade. You see, I got, got my comb there right at the top of his 
braids to protect it so I don't go in and take a braid off. Although, I would have loved to because I've been telling this dude to cut his hair for, I mean, since we started Barber College. I mean, I've been telling this dude to get rid of these braids. I've been telling him to do a drop fade with a messy top man that would be the look i've been trying to get him to come on here and do a transformation cut with me where we can just cut these braids off once and for all do a, a low drop fade with the sponge top i think that would be the look for him but i mean let me know in the comments man like like i said i put up his ig i'll leave it in the in the description tell him he needs to cut this off like leave, like let the braids go man I'm just lining up around the ear, keeping it simple. And that's the thing with tapers too. Like some people, they'll line line the hair up before they actually do the taper so you can see how the taper looks as you start fading. And I do that quite a bit actually. And, and in this video, I do the same. I line them up before I even start the taper. So you see, I created that bottom guideline. And then now I'm just putting on his line so I could see the taper materialize as I'm doing the taper. And I sort of did that on the sides. I don't know if you guys saw what I was doing. But here I'm just going up one inch, level open. And then I'm just going to work my way down. Half, close. Same thing as the, the last side. You know, the, the steps don't change. The system doesn't change. It's just a different canvas for everybody. But my process is the same. So now I got it closed and I'm just working on that bottom line. So now I got my 1A blade on and I'm just taking out some of that, that weight that you saw up at the top. You see that blend is just coming together for him. Of course, detail is key. Got my adjustables on, just tightening up the blend. Now I got my timeless shave gel. If you haven't seen that shave gel review video, go check it out. I reviewed uh, timeless shave gel, easy blade, and Toon 45 to show you guys, in my opinion, what's the best shave gel out there. So go check it out if you haven't seen that video. I'll leave a link in the description of that video. And I'm just gonna come back with the razor and just tighten up parts of his line. Try and help it pop a little bit more, get rid of some of that Bella's hair. I mean, you can see the line coming together. I mean, and this is a this is an all natural cut, you know, it's not enhanced or anything like that. I mean, I could have used enhancements, but I just didn't use enhancements for this video. I mean, like some people use enhancements like just for the video sake of the video to enhance the cut you know maybe to attract more people to watch it but I just didn't use any enhancements and usually he doesn't use enhancements anyway so you know it wasn't even necessary <clears throat> see I'm just came back with my trimmers I'm see I'm knocking off some of these overlapping hairs right now with the comb and then I'm just taking them away that's why I said I wish he would have got his hair braided before I cut it because you would, you know, you don't have to fight with the line too much. You know, you just knock the hair down and then you're good to go. But in this case, it just did what it is. So this is the cut, man. You see him? He's looking totally fresh. Looking like a new man. Keith Thurman Jr. out here. Let's go, champ. Let me know what y'all think of this cut in the comments below, man. This was a fun little cut. Still need to do a transformation. If you like this video, Please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so. I have plenty of great barbering content out there. Check it out. It is your man, I Do a Barber, signing out. I will hop.